how to say sorry in a thousand lights. Yes. I thought it was you no know, as a romantic title. I wanted a title that seemed like it was timeless. It corresponds with the paintings in a way. They are dreamy, they are landscapes, they are you know things from the mind and everything's all a little bit mixed up, but mixed up in a very good way. What comes first in your mind? What is it you're seeing that opens up this territory on the canvas? But when I was looking for things that most people don't really pay attention to, like little stars in the sky or the clouds, or, you know, imaginary landscapes of water. I mean, as well as the natural world, you're also looking at newspapers, you're also looking at films, you're yes. also looking at just... Yes. Uh, I mean, explain that to me, because in previous times we've had conversations and you've talked about just this, uh, I mean, what, archive, Ghanaian media, tell me about this. I like the the look of some of these things, you know, how they appear in the newspaper, you know, the, the old nature. It's a beautiful material to have if you have references to your history. Even though they have uh, references from, you know, um, from my background, they, there are so many things that people can relate to, you know, and those things are very powerful. What's the primary issue for you? Yeah. Are you, are you interested in the kind of formal aspects of making a painting? Are you interested in the subject matter, you're yeah. interested in the story that's within a painting. What's, you know, what are you exploring? You're looking into the mind of someone who's trying to bring you to his or uh, his world. What, what is in Gideon Apple's world? Magical stuff. It's magic. What's this painting called? Cloudman. Cloudman. How many of them are there? There's seven of them. Seven guys. Seven guys. Each Who of them they? from different, well, the faces actually I got from newspapers and I thought they were nice. So I kind of put them together. They're standing against this huge explosion of clouds. To get in this, I need to take pictures of clouds themselves and project them onto the canvas and paint them. Can you talk about your painting technique? There's quite a lot of paint in here. The first thing that was done was the clouds. It's a very tricky part because you, you need to get it to the point where it looks realistic. And then I started to do the faces and then mix a lot of black, different types of black. The more varieties you have, the better. Like you mix them and then you play with them. This is the one that I've done that have more space at the top. Mm -hmm. I wanted to focus more on the little lights. The interesting thing about this work is that you're trying to create this atmosphere, this aura of architecture. Again, we're back in mystery. Yes. Aren't we? we are. We're back in the strange landscape. Yes. This work actually told me a lot about the usage of color. It's not loud, it's, uh, it's just okay, it's just the right amount. I wanted the figure in the water together with everything here to have, you know, a mysterious light presence. So everything becomes one. So there's a merging between the land it's, and the sky. Yeah, it's, it's merging between the land and the sky. Very soft touches. What I like is that he's in the water, he's almost of the water. Yes. You know, exactly. he's merging with this in the same way that the land and the sky are merging together. Mm. Yes, yeah, just very nuanced painting. Yes. This is a, an image a still, taken yeah, from, from a, very, a local Ghanaian movie. It's that of a man standing like in the middle, in between two curtains. I thought it was very dramatic when I froze it. You look at it, there's no need to actually finish the painting or make it exactly as it is. It got to a point where I said it's enough. Mm. So like Gideon, don't go anymore. It's okay, keep it as it is. It's you not know. trying to be real life. Yes, that is, so the painting tells you when it's had enough. Three figures in a flame. What are we looking at? It's figurative, it's a landscape. It's very, very dreamy. That model actually come from old newspaper I found. I thought it had 
something mysterious in there. Everything's pushed slightly. It's dreamlike. So the sky is this quite vivid blue. Mm. The sun is red in there. It's slightly ominous, but at the same time, it's also slightly romantic at the same time. Yeah. There's a, there's a lot going on. There are elements in this painting that recur from other paintings. The smoking hand, the apples with fingers. Yeah. It's a wild assemblage. It's a <laughs> <laughs> you need to go wild in your imagination or so, to get something good. When I had the drawing book, I thought of doing, sketching out things that, you know, things let me play with stuff. You know, and some of them make sense sometimes. And, some also don't make sense when you do it down with the drawing. My job is to put it together. Yeah. And then we figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>